Hey yo, what's up guys? Uh, Chiefs Race Bolts here. I just wanted to like call this dude out. Dude has 2,200 subscribers. I mean, better than me. So, I mean, good for him. But uh, his name's Johnny Awesome. He describes himself as a diehard Rays fan. <laughs> He's not. All right. We're we're gonna we're gonna watch this this video of his reaction to Evan Longoria being traded to the San Francisco Giants. Now, I know this is nearly two months old. Like, this news is nearly two months old. But, you know, I, I felt like this video just had to be made. So, let's watch it. Uh, it's muted right now. I don't, I don't want this to get demonetized, so it's, it's muted right now. Dude's got the same hat I'm wearing. Good on him. But my favorite team in the American League are the Tampa Bay Rays. Now, I am a diehard Marlins fan. I ride See, and die with my Marlins. Here's the thing, right? The Rays are his favorite American League team, but he's also a diehard Marlins fan. Now, I don't know. If this this could, this is an opinion right here, but I feel like this is a um a very popular opinion based on who you talk to. Can you be a diehard fan of more than one team in the same league? And I'm not talking American League and National League. I'm talking Major League Baseball here. All right, we're we're just going to consider that one league. All right. In my opinion, you can't be a diehard fan of two teams in a in a uh, in a league. You can say, like for example, like. I don't have any issue with the Diamondbacks. They're basically my backup team if anything happens to the Rays. But I'm not going to go out and call myself a Diamondbacks fan. I'm not going to go out and call myself a diehard Arizona fan. You know what I mean? Like, they're just a team that I hope does well because I like where they're from. But you're not going to see me wearing any Diamondbacks merch in any of my videos. You're never going to see me buying any Diamondbacks merch. You know what I mean? And, like... This is this is just my opinion. Is like you can't be a diehard fan of two different teams in the MLB. All right. They will always be in my number one team. If a World Series came down to Tampa Bay or the uh, versus the Marlins, I would go the Marlins all day. See, this is what I mean. Diehard Tampa Bay Rays fan, but he would go the Marlins all day if the Rays and Marlins met up in the World Series. And one more thing here, right? You notice that jersey? All right, I'm kind of a jersey like fanatic here. You know what I mean? I'm all about authentic, like on field shit. What he's got right now is a replica jersey. It isn't the, the quality like this shit that the wear that the, the players wear on field. But yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. If this guy was a diehard Rays fan, you'd think he'd have some top notch Rays merch. You know what I mean? Um, this is not top notch Rays merch. With that being said, I do like Tampa Bay Rays, too. You see, I got my, my 08 World Series hat. Carlos Same, Pena, dude. Jersey, Carlos Pena, my all-time favorite Ray. Okay, listen. I understand with the Marlins, because Derek Jeter has lost his fucking mind. But you? You? I thought I was done with this. I thought I was done. I was like, okay, it can't get any worse than Stanton. You trade Evan fucking Longoria. I I don't believe that this reaction is authentic. I think this is staged for views, honestly. Like I don't think this guy actually was this pissed off about Evan Longoria being being traded. I I don't believe this is his authentic reaction. I believe this is an act, honestly. Are you shitting me? The greatest Ray, to ever do it, you trade him. At this rate, we're not going to have any more baseball in Florida, okay? We're not going to have any more baseball down here. Um, 
I don't know about the Marlins situation too much. I mean, from what I understand, it doesn't look too good for Miami because, you know, they just got that brand new stadium. They just rebranded and they're still not drawing a crowd. Tampa, on the other hand, is about to announce a move to Ybor City, which is like right in basically downtown Tampa, which is a major major upgrade from Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, which is 45 minutes away from downtown Tampa, uh, when you include traffic and that shit. Um, it's a pain in the ass to go to the games, not gonna lie. Uh, it's a long drive from from Tampa, and it's, and it's not fun. And when you have a team that hasn't made the playoffs in a few years, you, you're not as motivated to go, dry, go on a long drive to go watch a team play, you know what I mean? Um, but when they move to Tampa... I guarantee you, we will have better attendance, way better attendance. I mean, we'll be like, we'll go from last place in the league to somewhere maybe in the top 15, you know what I mean? Like, like we're going to be a good fan, like, we're going to be a good fan base. This is, you, you'll see, the Rays fans will come out, they will go to these games because they're actually in Tampa. You'll see, there are a lot of us out there, all right? I have that exact same bobblehead, dude. I've got like three of those, and I've got different bobbleheads too. What else do you have? I need to see more. There's one. You, you've got two. Is that it? You've you've got you've got a cheap jersey and two bobbleheads. Okay. How many times? Once. I understand you've been fighting for a new stadium for years now. Because let me tell you, I went to Tropicana once. I, I called it. I called it. Is hell on earth. I agree with that. But that doesn't mean you have to trade Evan Like I said, this is a staged act. This is not this guy's actual reaction. There's no way he's actually this pissed. Ship is lost. Okay. Rays. The man just a gold, another gold glove, and you want to trade him? Good God Almighty, what is wrong? It seems like everybody's trying to follow the Astros, get young prospects. But you know what? That doesn't always work. Well, look, Rays have six prospects currently in the top 100 MLB. I mean, that's like top five of any team. We've got a bright future, okay? We're looking good for the next five years, all right? Okay, here, the, the Evan Longoria trade is is a really tricky one to um, think about because he was the face of the franchise, uh Greatest Ray ever. I don't think any Rays fan will argue that one. Um, but he was underperforming these past two or three years for what he was actually worth. And we got a prospect third baseman who is going to be just as good as Evan Longoria. So you don't want to trade the face of the franchise that the, like the Rays just did. But... This is not a bad deal for the Rays. We got a top 100 prospect in Christian Arroyo for it, and he'll be basically like top tier third baseman in the next like I don't know five or so years. Th this guy's gonna be good, all right. Evan Longoria is getting old. I agree. He I I I, I literally do, I I can't think of <laughs> of like. Uh, it, it's a tough one for sure. But I don't think he understands the Marlins traded Stanton for nothing. All right, they, they got nothing for him. The Rays got something for Evan Longoria. All right, we got something for him. You can get all the prospects that you want in the world, but what if they all suck? Then you're fucked. Oh, God. Oh, God. The San Francisco Giants have become, well, I don't want to say they're loaded. Imagine if we would have gotten Stan and Longoria. That, that team is fucking stacked. 
but you trade Evan Longoria. Really? Your franchise, the greatest Ray ever. Who are you going to put at third now? Huh? Come on, tell me. Yeah, third baseman, uh, Christian Arroyo eventually, right? I think maybe Matt Duffy this season. You might as well just move the Rays out of Tampa Bay at this point. See, th th that, that right there just shows that this guy is not a diehard Rays fan. Saying, you might as well just move the Rays out of Tampa Bay. This guy is not a Rays fan. Alright, no Rays fan ever says, might as well just move the Rays. Come on, man. Come on. Guys, if you see these kind of people making videos, these, these people are not Rays fans, okay? But let's say you live in New York, right? The Buffalo Sabres, uh, let's say you live in Buffalo. The Buffalo Sabres aren't too good. You say, might as well just move the Buffalo Sabres. You are not a fan of the Buffalo Sabres, okay? This guy is not a fan of the Tampa Bay Rays. And, and that proved it right there, saying... Might as well just move the Rays out of Tampa Bay at this point. This guy is not a Rays fan. Orlando. That seems like a good place for them to play. Orlando? Orlando would be horrible. Yeah, let, let Disney own the team, you know, something like that. Move them to Ebor and we'll be golden. For God's sakes, keep the Marlins here. Maybe we can change back to the Florida Marlins. Because we're going to be the only team in Florida. This, <laughs> this guy thinks the Marlins would last longer than the Rays. I highly disagree with that. I think the Rays... If, if played in Ybor City, Tampa, basically, they will be way more successful than the Miami Marlins. I guarantee you that. But God damn it. You trade Evan Longoria. Stupid. I don't know who's more dumb. The Marlins or the Rays? The Marlins. Because the Marlins got nothing for Stanton, the Rays got something in return for Longoria. Y'all traded Evan Longoria. I never thought I'd be saying those fucking words. Think about it. Evan Longoria is a franchise guy. And the Rays are rebuilding. Rays aren't rebuilding. Marlins are, Rays aren't. Just because we traded the face of the franchise. Alright, forget what I just said. Forget the whole long word stuff I was just talking about. He wants Chris Archer traded from the Rays to the Marlins. You see, he wants the good Rays players to go to his favorite Miami Marlins. I mean, if you're a fan of the Tampa Bay Rays, you want them to keep their good players, right? No, this guy wants them all traded to his favorite team. Because the Rays are his, uh, well, I guess you can consider the Rays to him is sloppy seconds. Race. But God damn it, Tampa Bay. Y'all fucked up. Y'all might have fucked up worse than the Marlins. Okay, let me stop. The Marlins fucked up bad. And they traded Ozuna too, which is bad. And they better not trade board. If not, she's gonna get real bad. And then JT wants to trade, which is bad. And Yelich is not happy. Which, okay, your situation is not as, as bad as the Marlins. But it's still pretty bad. Your fan base is pissed off. Including me. I'm pissed. I think we've realized. I don't really talk about the Rays that much. I think we've realized that we got stuff for Longoria. Yeah, it was depressing the first week because, you know, Longoria's been with the race forever. But we got something for Longoria. I'm not going to root for the Marlins. I'm not going to root for the fucking Rays. That's right. I'm going full bandwagon mode because I'm tired of this shit, man. All right, for, forget, me, forget me saying he's not a real Rays fan. This dude's not a real baseball fan, man. This dude's saying full bandwagon mode just because both of his teams, or sorry, the Marlins are entering a rebuilding stage and the Rays decided to get rid of their franchise player because he wasn't playing for the money he was worth. So yeah, he's just going to go to a bandwagon team. Alright, see ya. Nobody wanted you here anyway, bitch. This season I'm rooting for the Red Sox. Uh, I'm going to end it here. This guy just went full fucking faggot. Just like...
put on a Red Sox, like this image you see right here, Ray's jersey, Red Sox hat, this is disturbing. This is like full betrayal right here. Look, if you want to bandwagon a team, go for the fucking Nationals or the fucking Astros. You, you don't go for the same division that you're complaining, oh my god, you don't go for the same division that your, your second favorite team is in. This guy is not a real Rays fan. Hell, this guy's not even a real Marlins fan. And I'd even go as far as to say this guy's not even a real MLB fan. The, it's people like this that need to be called out, and it's people like this who piss me off. You, you see this right here on my screen, Rays jersey, Red Sox hat. Something you will never see me wear is anything, anything from the same division as the Rays. Because at the end of the day, I'm a real fan. I live in Tampa. I've been following the Rays since I moved here in 07. This guy probably doesn't even live in Tampa. And he considers himself a diehard Rays fan, even though he's saying that he's going to go for the Red Sox next season because he doesn't like the fact that the Rays are potentially entering a rebuild stage. People like this piss me off and need to be called out, alright? And that's all I gotta say.